Hello, plastic model builders. Here you go. The B25J Mitchell by Ravel. Final reveal. 148th scale model. Yes, I glued this on. You can either weight it down from the front somehow or use this little step stool and it supports the plane just like that. So, starting off, usual seam line down the middle. Takes a little bit of doing to get it nice and clean. A uh, little bit of a gap that I had in between here in each one of these fins. Had to take care of that on each side. Uh, more words. We've got a decent sized gap was right here in between the wing. The front glass here doesn't quite match up with the rest of the plane, so you're going to have to work on that. I do have very spinny propellers though. I want to actually put some oil on these just to make them really spin a little bit faster. As you can see, the whole plane kind of shakes. Uh, figuring out how to paint this plane is a little difficult because you've got guns that are so close to the body, you can A, either paint everything, then put the guns on later on, which is what I think I did. You could see straight through inside. Uh, we've got some flat spots for the wheels, that way everything rests nice and smooth. The little yellow there. Um, I dip these in future as well. This model comes with two sets of glass. They look very similar. The only difference is the second set, the front piece right here, it's different because it's for a different version that doesn't have as many of these guns in front. Uh, trying to figure out how the internal guns and the colors and all the bullets went was a little bit of a chore for me. You got to do some research, see how it goes. Got this little cannon here. I don't remember if it was supposed to move or not, which it is. Goes up and down like that. And it swivels side to side. I think it goes from one side a little tight on the other, so I left it just as it was. Got these guns on the side here. I left those kind of in place as they were. I did weather this as usual. Um, this time I did, it's hard to see because it's such a dark aircraft with the olive green. A little dusty, I know. Uh, I've got my exhaust stains going all down the side right there. I darkened everything up a little bit with some dirt wash, as I like to call it. Uh, we see on this side, careful how we handle this. I've got all the exhaust stains coming on that side as well. I feel I got better from the last time I did that on the aircraft. Got this little ladder, have our bombs. Hard to get in there, I didn't follow the directions properly, so it worked out kind of funny. Either way, they're in there now. And this is the plane. I definitely did a lot better job putting the windows together than on the last one. I thinned down my glue a little more. Uh, so they went in, I shouldn't say smoother, but not as gluey. So that's a good thing. But this, that, I had a little bit of issues because I wasn't sure how to glue this in, how to glue all the other stuff in and make it match. I wanted to leave that stuff off for last. But, so I have an, a weird little gap right here. It's okay, it's just a model. It sits up high on top of a counter. I like building this model. The next one we have coming up is the, uh, I guess it's pronounced Supermarine. You know how that goes, me and names. Can't ever remember anything. Anyway, it's the Spitfire MK2. I can't say I took my time with that, but I definitely did some things a lot differently than I ever had before, just to test myself, see what I could do, see how pretty I could make things. And this is this plane. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Get this if you have a chance. It's not the easiest to do, not the hardest. It's worth it. You know, for a, a kit, for someone to do, just buy it. Subscribe, comment, and like. And until next time, see ya.